Welcome to Tech Brothers Dharma. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Which resource repositories or source control can you use in Azure Data Factory to save Azure Data Factory pipelines and other objects such as the triggers, the data sets, linked services, and all those? So this question will be very important or ask in a different way as well. Hey, you have Azure Data Factory and Azure Data Factory is deleted. Where exactly you have saved the Azure Data Factory object, those you can use uh, to restore uh, all the pipelines um, so this case there could be multiple ways to ask uh, the goal of this question is uh, to find out uh, if you are aware of uh, different type of uh, source repositories or source code repositories uh, where uh, the uh, information can be saved now in Azure Data Factory let me take you to the right here and uh, once uh, you create the Azure Data Factory at time of creating it ask you which uh, source control or source repo repository you want to use. If you have not uh, uh, given that uh, information at the time of creating a data factory, then uh, you can do it later. You can go to manage here and then uh, you will go to the source control uh, tab right there. Once you are there, uh, you're going to click on uh, get uh, configuration uh, and here uh, you have that uh, information available. Uh, connect your workspace with your git repository uh, just within a few clicks. Uh, okay, we will go configure and now it is telling us uh, what type of repositories we can use. Uh, here there are two type of them. Uh, there is uh, Azure DevOps Git uh, and uh, there is the uh, GitHub. Uh, so you can uh, either use the uh, uh, GitHub or you can use the other one. So if you select GitHub, it is going to ask you GitHub, uh, GitHub repository owner. And uh, once you provide that information, it's going to take you to the next uh, uh, level. Now, if you will select uh, Azure DevOps Git, uh, it's uh, going to ask you, hey, this is going to be cross tenant sign in or it is a uh, which Active Directory you will be using and all that. So you can provide that information and use it. Now, what is the benefit or why you use it? Because once you configure this uh, it is a repository type with the uh, git configuration here so this can be azure github devops git or github uh, your all the pipelines will be saved there and other objects as well so then you can use that to publish to the next environment such as uat qa prod and all that also in case of you deleted something and you want to restore to the same azure data factory you can always bring it back so uh, your answer sh should be there are two type of uh, repository or source uh, controls that you can use uh, with Azure Data Factory and one is called Azure DevOps Git and second one is a GitHub. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video.